Hey guys, what's up? Um, first of all, sorry my voice sounds like this. It's I somehow managed to catch a cold and whatever, fucking June, July, whatever this is in summer. So you know, whatever. Um, basically, this video, um, I've been getting some requests lately on how to really edit with Sony Vegas. And if you look at you know just a sample video on on Movie Maker than one on Vegas, it's like the difference is you know there there's a huge difference between the two. So you know, if you want to do your first video movie maker, you know, that's cool. Um, just to get like a supporter base going, get get, you know, a f hopefully a few hundred views on that. Um after that though <coughs> after that you really want to switch over to Vegas. Vegas is like so much better than Movie Maker. Um I'll have links for the key gen and the trial version in the description. Once you get it, um, you know, I obviously I already have it. Once you get it, open it up. I'm not sure exactly where my regular version uh, is, so I'm just gonna open up the fourth video and make a new file from there. Uh, when you get it, um, if you want to put your videos in high quality, which trust me, you really, really want to do that, uh, open a new file. You'll get this screen that pops up. Um, full resolution rendering quality. Make sure it's on best. I think it default by default it goes to good or something like that. Um, you want it on best. Blur type, you want whatever this is, gosh, and I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but click around here. I don't think there are any other ones. But if you ever see anything that you know has a quality thing, always put it on best. Then check this. Start on new projects with these settings. Um, I'm not going to because I just already do, I guess. Hit OK, and you have your new, um, you know, have your new thing. Um, before you make the video, I really recommend that you get a decent amount of clips. Uh, decent to me, for for a you know a pretty good video is at least like ten clips. If you don't have ten, I mean even ten is a little bit low. But if you don't have at least ten, either you're gonna have a three minute video, which is basically just like you know those. I mean I hate it when people say like PVP video three preview. Or, I mean the, you know it's three minutes is basically like a preview length. That's that's not a real video. Or you're going to end up having to slow down the clips so much, the entire thing is going to be over edited. It's just going to, you know, no one's going to watch it. Um, over editing sucks. Never do that. You know, whatever. Um, once you have this, uh, go over to Explore. Uh, I have my own, like, private folder for all my clips. It's just called Stuff. <laughs> and then I have, you know, all my video clips and a whole bunch of other shit that I really should get rid of. Um, I have what four four clips for the fifth video, so I need to work on getting a few more for those. Um, I personally get all my clips with Hypercam. People always complain Hypercam lags their computers. Uh, you know there are ways to get around it. What I did when I first get it is you take a bunch of like thirty second videos, and eventually you'll get to the point where you take a video and it stops lagging. I mean, and I took like I think ten ten thirty second videos, and then it. You know, I finally went out and fought someone and it didn't lag me. I was like, cool, I've used it ever since then. So, you know, if, if it's still lagging for you just because you have, like, a, you know, really, really old computer, you can just use, uh, like, Camtasia. I've, I've never, ever lagged with Camtasia, even the first time. But that can kind of be a pain in the ass to get with the key gen and everything. So, you know, whatever. Really doesn't matter. Just use whatever you want. Uh, once you get here, first thing, obviously, every video needs an intro. Uh... If it's your first video, I really wouldn't recommend going with, you know, crazy intense, flashing, spinning, screaming intro. Uh, just a little bit of text works. Um, why don't we go up here, right click on the timeline. Um, why do we not have a track? Okay, for whatever reason, mine opened without uh, layers, but normally yours, yours, yours will open with a layer. Right click here, uh, insert text media with a T next to it. Uh, you know. It's a tutorial, but we'll just pretend this is my fifth video. So we're going to, you know, let's say we put in my name. We'll shrink the text, you know, maybe to 60. 60 is a lot nicer. Uh, it should auto go out to five, automatically go out to five seconds. If it doesn't, uh, put it there. Just a piece of text, even if it's moving for more than five seconds, is, like, not a good thing. You don't want that. Uh, usually in the past, my videos have been, like, you know, a piece of text, you know, a video of me hitting a nice special, then, you know, Team 69, a, a video of all of us running off the hill and, you know, killing someone's target, and then, you know, whatever, and, you know, you, you go from there. You can put yours in whatever order. You can, you can have, like, your name presents, you know, 
their first PvP video, and you can have that on one, you know, one thing, two things, whatever you want. It's your video. Um, just go with what you think looks best. Uh, once you have this up, we're gonna leave it still for now. But you know, this preview down here in the bottom right. I mean, when you get it, it should go in the bottom left. I've moved mine down to the bottom right just because I like the layout a little bit better. But you know, it's completely your choice. Um, this thing is this thing is huge when you get into doing other stuff. You gotta watch that thing. Um, we're just gonna leave it standing still for now. For now, we'll get into panning and cropping later. Um, let's say we want. The, I mean, the the first thing that you should have in every single video. Every video maker needs this. Um, really basic edit is a fade. Fades are. I mean, you should use them two to three times a video. They're you you should fade in between the first song and second song. Maybe after some really nice loot. If you want to switch, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. Fades are great. Um, assuming we want this to be five seconds long, fades can be kind of. I mean, we're gonna have a three second fade, so you want to drag this out. If you see the little blue line at, up top, it says plus three seconds. Drag that out to there. Then come up at the top of it, next to all these icons. There's this little blue triangle. Uh, hover your mouse over it. It'll say fade offset. Click that and drag out to three seconds. Uh, you know what? Actually, no. We are not gonna fade. Uh, right here. That was a pretty stupid idea. Uh, no point in fading on text. Forget about that. But fading on clips is a really good idea. So let's say, I mean, again, first thing you'll notice with Vegas, first thing I noticed at least, it's so much more intuitive than like Movie Maker. Movie Maker, you know, I you're moving stuff around in the timeline and stuff like that, and sometimes it doesn't go where you want to, or you have to guess that it's completely, you know, pushed all the way up against another clip. So there's no like black screen in between two clips. With this, drag it over, you see the little blue, you know, kind of halo bar coming out from between the two, you know, you release it and you're good. Um, fades. Again, basically what I was going to do before I, you know, kind of changed my mind, which was stupid. You want to come up here uh, to the fade offset, click on that, and drag out. I mean, you can make it whatever you want. I'd recommend if you want to do just a, a regular fade is usually two or three seconds. I, I tend to do fades for, for like three seconds if it's regular. If you're switching songs, uh, like a three or four second fade. If you just want to go really quickly, like, you know, say it's with our team. If if I wanna if I wanna show like five clips of us on the hill, then fade out and show like three clips of us luring, you know, at Varrock or whatever. You know, you want to switch around. You want like a one second fade just to kind of switch topics. You don't need like a huge, you know, movie ending fade. Uh, so you know when I play it, I'm over here. Play it. Watch the bottom right hand of the screen. Uh, you know, I'm picking my stuff up, I'm smiling. I'm happy. I'm dancing. It starts fading out. Uh, you know, there you go. That part's easy. Uh, transitions uh, are, you know, I think they're pretty important. I th they they are really kind of over, not not overused. But the thing you have to remember: don't put a transition after every single clip because your video will look incredibly over edited. Uh, which is not what you want at all. Uh, you know, again, that's just it's it's better for it to be under edited than over edited. But uh, we're actually not going to put a transition here because I just faded out right here, so you probably wouldn't even see the transition if it's like you know one of these. I mean, blinds you would still see, but if it was like a flash or something, you wouldn't see any of that stuff. Let's go back to the explorer. Let's take random two. Let's put this up against here. So you know you know, haven't really done anything so far, you've done a fade, and you switch uh, to this one. 